today's video, we're gonna be building a jump. And for some strange reason, this is the first jump that's going to be on my mountain bike trail. I have multiple skinnies as well as a drop, but like I said, no jump, so I thought it's about time I finally build one. And like almost everybody when building something, the first thing their mind goes to is materials. And luckily enough for me, earlier in the summer, we'd actually got some wood from our local dump, which is technically illegal, but hey, one man's trash is another man's treasure, so I think in this scenario, we're pretty justified in taking the wood. And as you can probably tell, this is actually some great wood. It's mostly treated. Only negative was, I think it was cut off from the side of a deck, so I'd had to split it and take out some pretty annoying screws, but it's all worth it because this is a lot of wood for free. But after the slightly monotonous process of actually building the takeoff, we cut our pounding post and head out to where we would actually be building the jump. Which in and of itself was actually quite the task. I mean, it's pretty heavy and that's a long walk. So, you know, my arms get pretty sore, but as I well knew, that was nothing compared to what was coming next, which was pounding in the posts. For anybody who has ever built a jump, which involved pounding in a post or heck, even building a fence when you pound in the post, you'll know this is a lot of work. And I knew that very well, because as I said, this was not my first rodeo. I've been doing it for years. And over those years, I've also learned some of the dangers that come with pounding posts. Whoa! And since this jump was gonna be pretty tall, we thought we should pound the post in quite a ways to make it very stable. And because we wanted it to be very deep, it was a lot more work to pound it in deeper. And as you can tell, it was a lot of work on me. I was very taxed after, as you can tell. Just a very hard process altogether. And once we pounded in the posts far enough that we could feel that they were very stable, we cut them off and put on our cross section. Then following that, we screwed in our cross section as well as reinforcing it just in case it were to be shoved forward. And all there was left to do was actually dig a hole to make sure the transition was smooth for our ramp and we screwed our ramp in. And we also added some wedges and a cross support just to make everything really sturdy. And then of course, the only other thing to do other than building the ramp is to actually clear the landing. And that's fairly easy. You go down with your weed whacker, cut it all off, grab all the shrubs and throw it off, rake it a few times and you're good to go. And with that, we were left with a three and a half foot, really nice looking takeoff. Nice and finished. Well, at least I thought it was finished until I actually hit the jump. Going into this entire thing, I wanted to build myself a decently big jump that was fairly easy to hit. I never have to really think about it too much. I could just go out, hit this jump and have fun. And well, I ended up creating a huge jump that in fact hurt my ankles when I landed. So what is obvious to many by now is that I had to build a landing. And the first place that my mind went to was building a casing of wood and then just filling it up with dirt. I thought, well, that's about the easiest way to do it. You don't really want to be landing on wood. So we got a heavy duty pallet as well as cutting in a board that we used to use to make sure hockey pucks didn't fly over our net, screwed it all together. And I slowly started the process of filling it with dirt. And going into this, I thought, ah, it'll be like four or five wheelbarrow loads of dirt. And then that's all I'll really need. I'll be good. Turns out it was actually about 25 or 30. I kind of lost count, but I ended up making quite a huge hole that honestly would be perfect for burying a body. I mean, not that I need to or anything, but I mean, you could. Anyway, what I basically did on repeat about 30 times was go to my hole, which I forgot to mention is in the middle of my trail. I don't really know why I put it in the middle of my trail. I just kind of started digging and went with it. So now I've got a big hole. Anyway, I'd fill up my wheelbarrow with as much dirt as I could. Then I'd walk down my trail and pour it back onto my jump. And then from there, I'd distribute the dirt as best I could all across the landing, look for any real low spots and put it on there and keep building up layer after layer and pounding it down and making sure it was really nice and compact. And then I just kept adding more and more loads until it looked like enough. And then I finally hit it with my bike. And of course, I almost landed over top of my entire landing, which both shows that I built the landing too close for that big of a jump. And also I just added more dirt, but I ultimately just had to learn to hit it with a lot less speed, which is okay because what I wanted was an easy jump. And that's exactly what this jump is. So at the end of it all, I came out with a really nice gap jump that is admittedly extremely easy, but that's originally what I set out to do. I wanted an easy jump that I'd always hit, and that's exactly what I got. You're good. Go for it, Rex. You got her. There you go. Oh, it's not bad, eh? So nice. Isn't it? And one final thing that I forgot to mention was that I also ended up building a much smaller jump to the side of it for my dad and also for just anybody who comes to my house and hits my jump. Just thought I should mention it because it is also a really nice little jump. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been wanting to build this jump for really three years ever since I started building the entire trail and it came together so well and it was really fun to build. But that's the end of the video. 
If you did like this video, please consider subscribing. As you can see, a very small percentage of people are actually subscribed that watch my video. So all you have to do is click right down there to subscribe. But that's the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.